If you are a new hire and want to enroll in Voluntary Life, or are an existing employee and want to make changes to your Voluntary Life election, please be aware of the guarantee issue amounts and also the EOI form requirements. For example, here we have guaranteed issue amounts of $100,000 for the employee, $25,000 for the spouse, and $10,000 for the child. If you are a new hire and enroll in Voluntary Life for the first time, and choose a coverage volume over the $100,000 guaranteed issue amount, it will be highlighted here with a star. And after you make that coverage election, it's going to let you know the rules. And you have to scroll down, click on the EOI form. You will print out this EOI form, complete it, and then turn it into HR. For new hires uh, that select the guaranteed issue amount or less, they will not be required to fill out an EOI form, and that coverage volume will be automatically awarded. If you are an existing employee who wants to make changes to your voluntary life elections, uh, being it you want to uh, increase your coverage volume or you want to go from wave to enroll. So any changes you make, for example, I'm going to go from 50 to 80,000. Even though that's below the guaranteed issue amount, since you are an existing employee that's making changes to your election, you will need to go in, click on the EOI form, fill that out, and turn that into HR. So to recap, new hires that elect up to the guaranteed issue amounts are under. There is no evidence of insurability form required. And ongoing employees that are not making any changes to their voluntary life elections do not need to fill out an evidence of insurability form. However, new hires that are electing over the guaranteed issue amounts will be required to fill out an EOI form located here. Also, any current employees that are making changes to their elections. Uh, they also have to fill out an EOI form here. Click on the link, fill that out, and turn that into HR.